Ah, oh, no way. So I guess we're going back to the future. Hello everyone! You might be aware by now that Pedro Thorne's time machine in Fortnite has a date set which is all the way back to Chapter 1, Season 5. So we will be going to discuss that in this video. But also, in the Fortnite Miz trailer that you can see right now, we had a teaser of some of the collab skins, which look awesome by the way, and also some other skins. So stick around to the end of this video, so I will share with you the showcase of all those skins and cosmetics. So that also is your spoiler warning. So we are seemingly going back to the Chapter 1 Island for Season 5. Let's give a quick recap on what was Season 5. It was all about rifts opening up across the sky of the Chapter 1 Island and items from different realities transporting through these rifts all over the island. We also got a giant biome change from Moisty Myers Swamp to a big desert biome. And of course we had the arrival of Kevin the Cube, who definitely left his mark across the island and descended to Loot Lake, affecting that area. No idea why yet we are going back to that time Kato Thorne obviously has plans. Maybe he wants to stop Kevin the Cube ever being a thing, which is a link to the last reality. I've done a whole video on the last reality, you should definitely check it out. I will link it on screen, in the description and at the end of the video. And maybe, just maybe, Kato Thorne might be actually on the side of the last reality. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. I'm just stoked that we get to play on the Chapter 1 Island again, are you? So as promised, here is the showcase of all the skins, starting with Jack Skellington, and this leak is coming from iFireMonkey. So there is the Jack Skellington skin, it looks absolutely amazing. And this opens up a lot of things for Disney collaboration with Fortnite. And we also have the second style, the Santa style of Jack Skellington, which again looks absolutely amazing. It looks exactly like how it should do. Would you rock this skin? Next we've got Heartbreaker Ranger, which is another variant of Love Ranger. It's the Lava type series. This one looks pretty cool as well. I love the Lava ones. It's got all the Lava runes. It's got horns. It's got chains. What more could you actually want from a skin? Absolutely amazing. And here is the next collaboration skin, the Alan Wake skin from the Alan Wake series of games. It does look a bit like the old John Wick skin, but hey, he still looks cool to me. Any Alan Wake fans? Let me know. Spam the comments. And we've got Michael Myers. The next collaboration skin, now this one looks awesome. I can't believe this actually came into the game. It looks exactly like he should. Any Halloween fans out there? I know I am. Well, the original film. The new one's not so much. Looks cool though. And next we have the Phantom Meowskull skin. Look at this one. This is absolutely awesome. He's got a purple glowing effect, massive eyes. Meowskill is always a cool character anyway, but this one, awesome. Just like to say we don't have a release date on any of this yet. And here we have the swamp version of Fish Sticks. He looks funny. He's got a re reactive style that his eyes glow, I believe. It's not going to react on here, obviously, but when you're in the map, when you're in the game, his eyes will glow. Next we have Festival Phaedra. This one's pretty cool. She got looks like teeth on her booties. Or boots, whatever you want to call them. With tongues, wagging tongues. Yeah. That's a pretty cool skin, I suppose. Next one, a runaway racer. A very cool orange and black combination. And there's a few different styles of this one. 
one with no hat, no glasses, no mask, and all of it off. That one's pretty cool. What do you think? And last we have Seth. I guess they run out of names there. He drew the short straw. He's kind of like a mummy type character. Looks pretty cool to me. And here are the back blings. The Alan Wake's back bling. And we got the magma one. That one looks cool. Look at the steam coming off that. Furious Flame back bling. It's like a little phantom lighter. I think that's for the Meow Schools, maybe. The Stabo Lantern. I think this is for Michael Myers. It's probably reactive with the blade. Zero as a back bling for Jack Skellington. Now that was really cool. I'm not sure it's a pet though, so I'm not sure you can actually pet it as a person. The Bat Royale Batling, that's reactive as well. Not sure what the reactivity, maybe you can detect people presence, I don't know. You can turn the reactiveness on and off. Got the Boogie Lamps, that's for the Swamp Fish Sticks type skin. They, those look cool, it's like little swamp bugs in the little jars. And then we have the Auto Clutch, the Orange and Black Combo, the Mao, which is a big mouth with a wagging tongue, and those teeth kind of move a bit on the uh, back bling. And the Travel Tomb Tote Bag. Four. Next we have the Pickaxes, that's the Alan Wake one. It's got a slightly reactive bulb on there. Whether it goes light, lighter or brighter, I don't know on that one. Wow, that one's cool. A lava club. The slasher knife. I like a knife one. There's been a few, but that one's cool too. A bat wing, a bone spike. Kind of like a scythe. The fishbone cleaver, that's for the Meow Schools. It's like a glowing purple and black fish. A para slasher. Another umbrella type back bling with the teeth and the, the, the tongue. Premier Poms and Pom Poms. Looks a bit funny with Michael Myers doing that, I suppose. And the King. That's a cool curved blade or knife. And the Peppermint Parasol. Another umbrella. Whether that one would be future, I don't know. Next, we have gliders. We have the Jack's Sled Glider. So the Jack Skeleton comes as a bundle, the Pumpkin King bundle, I believe. Revenant Rider, that one's cool. Look at the effect, the purple and black effect. Some Contrails, a Phantasmic Fall. I believe some of these are from the Fort Nightmares quest line. But that's pretty cool. It's the little bugs. So it could be, um, Swamp fish sticks. Next we have wraps. Dark place wrap. I'm not sure what is on there. It's black, white, and grey. Furious shadow. So it's a double purple, purpley pink and black. The murk, a dark purple wrap. Toothy, that's the one with the teeth and the tongue. Haunt Hustle, there's the black and orange, and Wrapped, that's with the bandages on there, so black with the bandages. Now we have the emotes, I can't play these, but it's the Halloween theme, you know the one. Do 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 do, don't copyright me YouTube, but it's that one, on an emote, which is a pretty cool emote, 
if you ask me, tubular bells. Is <laughs> he stabbing the keyboard? So that's a pretty cool emote to go with Michael Myers. Jack's scary face. <clears throat> Just like he does in the Night Before Christmas film. And you can swap to the style of the Santa style and it does the scary face and it works just as well. And his head's spinning around. And we got the sweets emote. It's a bit like the banana one or the doubloons, you know the one. Make it rain, but with sweets this time. Halloween sweets or candy. And there's one with the little jack-o'-lantern with sweets. I believe you can do this with another person, so if you rain the sweets, you can go into the jack-o'-lantern, or maybe you're offering, I, th I believe this is an interactive emote. Here's some sprays, Revenant Stare, Hypno Bat, Heart of Lantern Emojicon, Heart Eyes, Me, and some loading screens. Nightmarish glare. And that's the skin we've had before. That's pretty cool. Be handy to have that one. <laughs> Time Revenant. There is Cato Thorn in his vampire form. And within the Sanctum. See, there's the date that we've seen. That's what we're going to expect. What was your favourite item? And that was an amazing showcase, if I do say so myself. I'm probably going to get a lot of that. And if you do see it all coming to the item shop, please use code Agent Draven. Thanks for watching. Please,